So my businesses have made millions of dollars over the years, but not once have I ever focused or mastered social media. I saw a guy that I followed the other day. He has 300,000 followers on Instagram, and he was talking about how his goals were to grow his email list. And on his email list, he had 3,000 people, which is absolutely mind-blowing to me because 80 to 90% of the revenue that I've generated in those businesses has come from email, whereas less than 5% of the revenue that I've generated has come from social media. So it's pretty crazy to me that an Instagram first or Facebook book first strategy is actually right, the right way to play. Now, of course, social media has its place and you should absolutely focus there. And if you're amazing at social media and you're super outgoing and funny and can get attention quickly, then absolutely focus there. You've got an unfair advantage. But for most of us, we're just spinning our wheels all the time when we're getting onto these social platforms, especially if we don't have a strategy. Today, I'm introducing the content hierarchy, which you can see in front of you. And this particular hierarchy is something that I developed in the last 24 hours, essentially. Maybe other people have talked about it, but it came from me posting, starting to post more on Instagram and Facebook at the start of the year, but just realizing very quickly that it is not the right strategy, at least for me. The better strategy for not just me, but most entrepreneurs is to focus at the top part of this particular triangle here. So let me dive into this model and give you an explanation of what it is and what I mean by this. Then I'm actually gonna show you my dashboard where we can take this long form content that we're creating at the top here and easily turn it into all of these other things so much faster than any other VA could fully automated so that you don't have to spend a lot of time on those other platforms, but you still produce really high quality social posts. How's that sound? Good, let's dive in. So the, the idea here is to, for us as the entrepreneurs or as the content creators to be focusing on this long form content. So what do I mean by long form content? It could be a newsletter, I would consider a long form content. It could be a YouTube video like this one. It could be a podcast, preferably a video podcast. It could also be a blog post, but I would prefer to call the blog post a newsletter because it's just trending a little bit better these days. Blog posts sound old. So just call it a newsletter and you can still post it to your website anyway. This is what I would call long form content and it is the entrepreneurs or the content creators highest and best use of their time. So what this allows us to do is if we spend an hour or two or three creating this really high quality long form content, then when it comes time to posting on all of these other social media channels, then we can actually hire a virtual assistant to then complete the rest of these sections. So what would they do in this particular section? They would take the long form content and they would run it through something like the automation that I'm gonna show you in just a second, or different softwares out there that can do the same thing and split that long form content up into platform specific content so that you are maximizing the longevity of that. But there's an art and a science to this. It's not just simply making a few cuts and like copy and pasting a few pieces of text in order to generate the copy. You still need to structure it exactly how it needs to be structured for each particular platform. And you also need to use the right creative or the right media in, for each of those platforms as well. What do I mean by that? For example, on X or Twitter, then most of the time you're gonna be doing text posts, same as threads. Whereas on Instagram, you, you may be doing an image or you may be doing a reel. Whereas on TikTok, you're definitely doing a reel. Maybe you would do a story, but I don't see too many of those on TikTok. So you're doing all types of different content everywhere, but it can be the same type of stuff. So for example, even though you're doing reels and shorts in this particular section, you may actually take some part of this section, which is your text post and put that over the top of some video to make it a reels for Instagram, for example. So you might have a bit of B-roll from for of yourself and then you would put some text over the top of that and then maybe you'll have the rest of the text in the description as well to get people to read. So that's how you make it platform specific, but all of the content gets created from this long form content section. How do we do that? So I have this built my own system here. I've used Airtable, Make.com, OpenAI, a few other AI APIs. And basically all I do, and this is my, let's dive into the, my YouTube one, for example. So I have a YouTube workflow here, which I use when I'm creating these videos. And let me just filter up, let me just remove this done example and see 
what if I can find one that has some social posts. So basically what happens is I take this long form YouTube video and I give it a name, a working title. I put that in. If I want to focus on SEO, I'll put that in. And then I grab the transcript and I paste it in here. So this is a YouTube transcript. It's got all of the timestamps there, which allows me to do something pretty cool. Once I have that, then I hit this button here and I say, create YouTube assets. So this will then create me a bunch of titles that I can choose from, a description, all of the timestamps and some thumbnail titles that I can use on the thumbnail. And then I go ahead and then I create my final version here. So that's pretty cool already. Like that already saves me a ton of time. I use this every single day, but it doesn't end there. What we can actually do is now take that and create social media posts as well. And not just a basic social media post that you would prompt in chat GPT, but taking actual templates and turning those into social posts. So what do I mean by templates? I have a full video on this and you can check that out. It's, it's called create 73 social posts or something like that. You'll find it. I'll, if I remember, I'll put it in the description. If you watch that in full, you'll see how I came up with these social post templates. But for now, I'm just going to explain them. So I have 73 social post templates here. I'm adding more and more every time. But basically it's taking viral templates from other writers that they use in their industry and making it relevant for any industry. For example, we might want to talk about a quick hack as a hook. So quick hack to topic outcome. So what the AI will do is it will reference the transcript that we just pasted in. It will figure out what the topic outcome is. It'll figure out how to add that topic outcome in the context of quick hack to, and then it will talk about what the quick hack is. So it'll reference the transcript, figure that out, start writing about the quick hack and the reason why that works every time. It is mind blowing to me that the AI can do this and that no, nobody else is talking about it. This saves so much time and it still produces really high quality work in your brand voice, in your essence. That's the whole point here. The whole point is to use AI properly and in a better way so we can produce high quality. As you can see here, there's tons of different templates. So maybe it's like the benefits of whatever that topic the AI figures out. Then it figures out from your writing or from your transcript, benefit one, two, and three, and four, and then why that particular topic is so valuable. So let's have a look at an example of one of these. So this was for a podcast actually. So it was music for anxiety for my pet brand. So let's just go down and use an example that I've not talked about yet. So here's a pretty cool one, which is canine sound therapy, a simpler way to keep your dog calm and anxiety free, create a peaceful home and environment, bond with your pet through the power of music. Learn more, link. So the link would actually be to take them to the podcast. This is just like one small example of how this can be used. Completely mind-blowing, completely game-changing. I wake up every day and look at this dashboard and I'm amazed that it actually works in the way that it does. And the more that I play around with this, the better and better I continue to make it. But not just this, every single part of my business as well. So I wanted to share this with you to give you some inspiration. If you do want more advanced tips like this, I have a newsletter which you can sign up for and I'm going to be doing a masterclass soon where I break down every single step of how you can actually get this started. But there is also a playlist and I'll put that in the comments in the first comment where you can watch videos on this entire system as well to get your own inspiration. The purpose of this is for me to share how you can have an easier way to operate your business. I think there's so many SaaS tools out there that are not really needed anymore. You can basically just rebuild them for free in the exact way that you want them. So I hope this was valuable. If it was, make sure you let me know in the comments and I'll see you next one.